Hello and welcome to 1848 Old Haley Drive, Centerville, Ohio. My name is John Murray with the murraygroup.biz of Better Homes and Gardens Real Estate and I will be your host. Here I'm standing out in front of this home looking at it from the street and this is located in the highly desirable Yankee Trace area of Centerville. This home is gorgeous, finished basement, and the backyard is something that's very unique to this area backs up to a creek and you actually do have a usable backyard freshly landscaped on the outside gorgeous home price to sell let's go take a look all right so here i just walked through the front door and this home is built to impress lots of updates in here immediately to our left we have a coat closet right here and that leads us up to the upstairs. We have a couple bedrooms up there with a loft. We'll check that out here momentarily. All of this is hardwood, and this is all updated here. We have a half bathroom right here. Immediately to our right, we have the formal dining room. And this is equipped with chair rail that goes all the way around that wall there with crown molding. Have a couple can lights up there. And then a bay window right here. So a lot of natural light in here. Very, very nice dining room. Gorgeous floors here. Going into the kitchen, from the dining room, immediately to our left, we have a double door pantry here. And the wood floors flow throughout the kitchen, breakfast room, and morning room. White cabinets, as you can see, open glass here. And these are all granite countertops. The appliances do stay. We have a preparing area with an eat-at bar here that overlooks the living room here. So a nice little serving area. And I'll give you a couple different perspectives so we can see this several different ways. I'm in the kitchen right now. Over the breakfast room, we have a plant shelf in here. Perfect spot for decorations. Give you another view of the kitchen. These are all oversized cabinets as well. So they go all the way up to the ceiling. So we have plenty of cabinet space in here. And even on our island peninsula, if you will, there's cabinets here as well and here you can see the spot for our bar stools looking into our living room we do have a gas fireplace over here with vaulted ceilings in the living room that goes up to the loft we'll take the view of the living room when we get up there as well this is the door to the basement this is the door to the utility room first floor utility room here first floor master bedroom as well I'm gonna back up show you the Another perspective of the breakfast room. Opening up into the kitchen. Plenty of lights in here as well. Off of the breakfast room, we have the morning room or the reading room. And the floors, the wood floors flow in here as well. And then look at all the windows in here. One, two, three, four, five, six windows. Seven, eight if you count both sides of the door. Now, one of the really, th one of the really nice things about this home we have a big composite deck here, but look at the backyard. We actually have a usable backyard, and it's a nice backyard. goes down to a creek. That is a creek right there with water running in it. Perfect spot to put the bench seat or, as I would maybe do, a hammock in between a couple of those trees right there. Very, very nice setting. I hear the birds chirping. So coming back in, I'm going to show you the living room and we'll go look at the utility room and the master bedroom as well. And we'll check out the basement here in a moment. I want to give you the whole first floor. Utility room, this is also doubles as access for the garage. Two car garage and there is a storage cubby in there as well, which is very nice. And as you can see, we have some big boy washer and dryers here can fit pretty much whatever you need it to fit. Quick peek there as I shut the door of the master bedroom. As you can see, we have a recessed ceiling here with crown molding, ceiling fan here. That looks to be a hunter. Two windows. The one window does overlook the back deck and the other one overlooks the backyard there. Carpet's all in really good shape in here. Walk-in closet that does turn around the corner there. And then the master bathroom, this is all ceramic tile here, double bowl vanity, a jetted tub, and a walk-in shower. And the walk-in shower is very clean. So a jetted tub with a walk-in shower. 
and a good size first floor master bedroom. Next, I'll meet you upstairs. All right, so here I just came up to the second floor. We're greeted by a good sized office area right here that's pretty much surrounded by handrail. Could be a sitting room, a reading room. There is an outlet here, so you could put the desk in here. And you have a view of anybody who's coming through the front door. This is the office, or excuse me, the dining room right here. We've got the front door and then the closet and of course the stairs where I just came from. And then the half bathroom is right below us here. Give you another perspective of this room here in a moment. We can also look over into the living room. There's our gas fireplace. There's our breakfast room. You can even see where the bar stools would be and our morning room. So if you see the kids not doing their homework, you can yell at them, say, hey, get to work. There's our plant shelf. And give you another perspective of the office here. And there's three bedrooms up here. So we have the first floor master bedroom and then check out the size of these bedrooms. Uh, don't mind the frog butler. He's there to help. This is on the front right of the home, and this actually has a walk-in closet. This is a good-sized room. We make a get great guest bedroom, or just a big kid's bedroom. And I love this view down here. Coming down the hallway, and that's brand new carpet in that bedroom that we were just in as well. Guest bathroom, double bowl vanity sink. This is a shower tub in here. This is a big linen closet here. Runs from here all the way over to the other end. Tons of space in there. Bedroom number three. This is on the front left of the home. And this has double closets in here. And then bedroom number four. Check out the size of bedroom number four. We have the Oompa Loompa closet. That's just basically not really a closet, just a storage space. Have another one over there. The closet to this room is over to my right, and this carpet is brand new. Uh, at the time of shooting this video, this carpet's been in here for maybe about an hour. And there's the closet in here. So great second floor. We have three bedrooms and a full bath, and all of the bedrooms are very generously sized bedrooms as well. Next, I'll meet you down in the basement. All right, so here I just came down the stairs, and yes, this carpet is brand new as well. Check out the size of this basement. Huge basement down here, all kinds of possibilities. Loops around the corner here. Two big storage rooms. And if you're keeping count, we have a second half bathroom down here as well. Big linen closet, good amount of storage in there as well. Just giving you a couple of perspectives of the basement here. It would make a great rec room, perfect spot for a pool table. Foosball table, ping pong table, theater room. Pretty much you can do just about everything down here. This door over here is a storage room. And then we have a huge storage room over here. And that's also doubles as the mechanical room. Under the stairs, closet right there. These are glass block windows down here. Very, very nice basement. With the new carpet, very clean as well. So storage room number one, this is the room with the sump pump over there. This is all insulated, concrete floors, concrete walls. And then, wait till you see the size of this room. Yes, there's a lot of stuff in here. And when you live here, there's going to be a lot of stuff in here as well. Just like it is at my house. Panel box straight ahead right there. All of these are insulated here. Train furnace, very nice room here. Mud sink, it is unfinished, and we need the unfinished storage room. So here's the basement, and I'll meet you upstairs for a few closing statements. So thanks for watching our video of 1848 Old Haley Drive, Centerville, Ohio, and Yankee Trace. If you have any questions about this home, or if you'd like to see it in person, feel free to give me a call. Again, my name is John Murray with the MurrayGroup.biz of Better Homes and Gardens Real Estate. I can be reached at area code 937-654-7355 or by email that is john, J-O-N, at buywithjohn.com. Thanks for watching, and a home of this caliber at this price does not come along that often. So give me a call. I look forward to talking to you.